indicated to the derby, but Epictetus had the derby entry. He went off the two to five favorite. They're off. Marlon two furlongs is the trip here for this Weatherbiz Digital Solutions. Blue ribbon trial, the black and white jacket of Hadrianus and the purple and light blue of Stormbuster. The first two to show out in front. They already established a three-length advantage. Two favourite Epictetus who runs in third place and about two lengths behind him. To think first in a dark jacket and the white colours of the one filly, Cite Dor, who is uh, on his outside. They have now completed two furlongs. Uh, and the Stormbuster, Sheen Murphy, and the purple and light blue established the lead of a little over a length. Best turned out winner Hadrianus, black and white colours, is running in second. Market leader of Pictetus, an almost all white jacket for Frankie de Tori, shows halfway down the field in third place, but closer to the leading two than he was a furlong ago. Cite d'Or, white colours for Pierre Louis Jamin, one off the rail, is just ahead of Think First and Ross Aram in dark blue as they begin their left handed run past the Six fell on pole and they're heading downhill now towards the home turn. And it's Stormbuster has the advantage with the Sheen Murphy to William Buick on Hadrianus running in second place. There is now only about a half length between them. A length and a half then to Epictetus against the running rail and Cite Dor is around the outside of him and Think First continues to be the back marker as they now approach Tattenham Corner and head down inside the final half mile. Hadrianus coming uh, on the left in the black to come and join uh, Stormbuster as they move into the home straight. A length and a half behind these two Epictetus as they make their way towards the centre of the track. One from the left uh, is the dark blue of Think First. On the extreme left is Cite Dor. Heading down towards the final quarter mile. Now the five are almost in line here. Epictetus on the right, in the white. Picks up now, goes on to Hadrianus in second place. Stormbuster behind those in third, then Think First. And with Think First is Cite Dor. They approach the final furlong. It's a two-length advantage for Epictetus out in front. Hadrianus in second. And Cite Dor has moved through into third place into the closing stages. Epictetus having to be ridden out here. Hadrianus in the black is mounting another challenge as they race towards the line. Epictetus wins narrowly, about three parts to Hadrianus. Cite Dor, think first, and Stormbuster. Epictetus lands the listed blue riband trial at odds of two to five for Frankie de Tori, John and Thady Goldston in the colours of owner breeder George Strawbridge. Second, Hadrianus at nine to one. Well, Epictetus was taken to the front by Frankie de Tori and he holds on, but Hadrianus was running down with the pressure mounting, but Epictetus was able to see out this and gets his new season as a three-year-old off to a good start and plays a handsome compliment to the 2000 Guineas favourite, August Rudin, who he was runner-up to on his final ta start. And it's interesting to see how John and Thady Goldston will aim this horse going forward. Epictetus has won under Frankie de Tori. Take me through that, Frankie. Happy all the way? Yeah, good. Uh, pace was even for that ground. Um, I, I, I did exactly what I wanted him to. I thought before and uh, uh, or she was the one to beat, so I followed him. And on this ground, you can't give him too much rope, so I kicked with them at the two, and then all of a sudden I found myself in front, and he kind of uh, idles a bit. And also, it's the first time he's been on grass for a long time, and. I suspect the combination of getting a little bit tight on the ground and uh, easing up in front a bit, but you know he's he's, uh, he's he's passed his test, and I guess I suspect that he'll probably run again one more time. What would you think about a mile and a half for him? I'd like to see him again. Very hard to tell today on these testing conditions. You know, he got a mile and a quarter well on very testing ground, so he hasn't got too much further to go. But uh, perhaps. Uh, you know, race uh, like the Dante or something like that will uh, give us a better clue. And he was happy enough on the track, clearly. Yeah, I mean, it's a very neat, well-balanced horse, you know. Look, his form is solid. He was second in the racing post and he was, he was entitled to come here and win. Uh, you know, if you freeze the race in the furlough market, it was free clear. But then when you look at the winning post, it's three parts. <laughs> so, well, 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 you know, I, I was pleased with him. You know, there's nothing more I, I could have done. You touched by the by the mural here coming here. Was that a surprise? It was a surprise. I knew something was going on, but I didn't realise it was a mural. It's big. It is proper proper the old, the old wall. Yeah, yeah I, I took me by surprise actually. 
a bit uh, emotional, I guess. Uh, you know, because it's it kind of leave a bit of uh, not reality world in California. But now, now that I'm coming back, and yeah, it's really happening. There's six months left, so I'm enjoying every moment. moment. John Gosden, alongside you, more success in this Blue Ribbon trial. Uh, well done. Happy with that? Yes, indeed. I mean, you know, our horses have been mostly training on synthetic, on all weathers. So when they come here and they find the ground that deep, it's a challenge. And uh, look, he, he, he was a little tiring at the end, but also looking around in front. So they went a good pace, Frankie said, for the ground, but it's, it's very soft here. We had a massive rain last night. So I guess it answers, it answers your questions about this trip. What's your gut feeling about a mile and a half? Well, I think Frankie felt straight away that he was more of a pre de jockey club horse. He's got a lot of speed. He's a kingman out of a good group one mile and a quarter mare. Uh, and so we'll run in a dante if he's in good order and then we can make our decision from there. Why this horse? I'm interested how you sort of decide on which trial this horse for, for this one, for example. I wanted to see how he handled the track. And that was box tick? They got on the wrong leg actually halfway down the hill. You know, you, you need to be leading on your near fall down that hill. So look, he'd have learnt a lot today. He doesn't have a massive experience. He only had three races in his life, but the ground is, is it's testing. Yeah. Um, and a rest goes on, on Friday at Sandown, does it? Yeah, similar situation, you know, he's, he'll go in the trial there, but again, the jumpers will be really happy on Saturday. For us, we've been a little bit inclined here just to be, you know, we, we, we're racing a lot of training on synthetics, then we go to soft, heavy ground. So I have been telling jockeys if they're not handling it, look after them. It's a tricky meeting, that one as, as well, isn't it? To, the, when, yes. when you're mixing up the two, to, the two courts. Oh, it's a great, I loved it when it was all on the same days. Because Frankie used to go into the jocks room and he'd look at the jump jockeys at the end of the season and he said, I can't believe it, they're held together by tape here and tape there and broken collarbones and broken this. He said, you don't know how they do it. John, great stuff, thank you. Thank you. Cheers.